Hello, uh, this one is the Omni X1. I received uh, the customer say that uh, cannot connect with Wi Fi and uh, the remote is not uh, attached, uh, cannot pair with the uh, charging dock. So, how we can do this one, the resetting, how we can do the reset and uh, can test, I will show you in this video. So, first of all, we will see whether the remote uh, can power on and can connect with the Wi Fi or not. So, we turn on the remote first. And uh, meanwhile, I will open the Ecovex uh, home app. Okay, the few reports I already have connected here with the mobile. So no. Okay, once you open your mobile app, so they will show you this page, as you can see here. So they will ask you to add a robot. So we click here. Actually, there are two ways uh, you can uh, connect the reports uh, with your mobile app. The first thing is uh, here. You can see here, scan. Uh, Scan a code. You can press here, and then direct you can scan the sticker from here. I can scan from here also like that. But sometimes, if uh, for example you clean few times the debot and mistakenly this sticker tear off from here, and there's no sticker here. Sometimes in the packaging, if the sticker is this one is missing. So how you can know that uh, which model you are using, and how you can uh, connect? For example, I will go back again. And now press here again and uh, for example you think that th there is no sticker here and uh, you know uh, you want to know that which model you are using you want to select from the list here so every robot the ecovex uh, whoever the user you are using so between the two wheels there's a sticker here here or here some models they got here sticker actually in different models but in omni they put the sticker here in the middle so you can see here uh, so the model number is written here actually you can see the model number here the bot x1 omni so debot x1 omni we will select manually also from the list so here they will show you debot x1 omni and turbo so we will select omni and the one thing i let you know that uh, ecovex doesn't support 5g only 2.4g can uh, connect uh, with the ecovex home app so here this one uh, i know that uh, this one is already 2.4g in office we are using here so the password we enter and after that we just go to the next step then they will ask you to turn on the debot debot is already on as you can see here in the power button power cut here so debot is okay on next then they will ask you to reset from here press the reset button for one second if uh, you are already using and sometimes it gives you the trouble so easy way is uh, to connect again with the mobile app if it's giving you the error so easy way is you press this for, uh, reset button and hold for seven seconds after 7 seconds, you will set to default settings. Yes, it's default setting. So now the debot is totally reset. It means 100% confirm that, that this debot is not connected with any other device. So now easy uh, for it's very easy for you to connect the debot uh, with your mobile app. So now we will just uh, once it will take few seconds. Now the power is on. After few seconds, it will give you the same music sound uh, when we power on. So after that, now you can press this button. Thanks for choosing the Ecovacs robot. Please scan the QR code okay. for details. Ready for network setup. Okay, ready for network setup. We just press this. Ready for network setup. We go to next. Sometime automatically the device actually detect the debot and the signals and automatically start scanning and everything okay. done Please like that. But sometime but sometimes the debot will ask you to go back to the settings and uh, from if they ask you to go back to the setting then from the mobile actually from the signals you can uh, Wi-Fi you can detect here and then you can just go back to the setting here from here you can connect your Ecovex so there are two ways uh, so it's automatically detected so now you can see it's uh, already connected here direct so the one thing is already done so after we just need to reset only the debot after we reset test it now the debot can connect uh, with the wi-fi there is no issue just make sure you are using the 2.4 g and you are entering the right password if the password is wrong or you are connecting with the 5g then the debot uh, always app will give you the error and cannot connect with the wi-fi so there are the two things only you have to uh, make sure the power button is on and uh, you reset the debot already and the 2.4G you are using, not the, two, uh, not the 5G. So now we will check the other function. The customer say that uh, it's not paired with the uh, app, uh, sorry, with the charger. So we press the button from here. There are actually a few buttons here. If we press this one, so the debot will return to charge. If I press this one, so debot will start working or the pause.
and this one to wash the tag there uh, the bottom the sink so I press this one here okay because now I already reset the devote and the devote is automatically connected with the charger sometime what happened that uh, if uh, you press the button from here and the devote won't detect uh, your uh, charger from there and it uh, won't follow the signals uh, whatever you are pressing the buttons from here so how you can settle this one is easy, very easy not very uh, I just give you one step you can just power off your devote and power off your charger these two things now you power off already once you power off and power on again the both devote and the charger will be paired again. So it's not, I mean, not quite difficult. You just power up the uh, charger and the devote together. And after few, after one minute, you can power on the problem. And now the devote is on. Whether I give the command from the mobile app or whether I give the command from the charger, the both will work. It doesn't matter. I mean, if sometimes it happens that the devote is not uh, following the functions from here. So you just power up the charger and the devote together and after one minute if you power on so both will be paired again. So now I show you again. Sometimes if the signal is uh, slightly weak then it takes a few seconds. Okay, this one is the only one connected one. So devote is now working, connecting with mobile app. So now I pause. Okay. So now I give the command from here. Return to the station. So devote is now start searching the station. I pause again. Now I give the command from the charger. See whether from the charger it detects the function uh, that it automatically can uh, catch the signal from the charger and can return back to the charger or not. So I give the command from the charger now. Continue returning. It means that uh, the remote this one is now paired successfully with the charger. There is no issue with this one. So just only need to reset. After we reset, uh, for reset actually some customers they say just, just press the reset button for one second. If we press the reset button for one second only, this one is just for ready to connect. If you want to reset, you press and hold that reset button for seven seconds. After that seven seconds, you will hear the message that uh, uh, default setting, that the settings on reset already. So then it's uh, you have to connect the remote again with your mobile app. Successfully, you can easily can uh, uh, I mean, attach with your mobile app and share again, and then your charger automatically will detect your devote. So now you can see it can return. Okay. Start charging. Now start, ch start charging. Now I give the command again from here. So now the devote will start working. So I'm not using the mobile app, I'm just pressing the button from here, and it is following the same. Functions that uh, I have been using from there. Okay, pause. Clean pause. No, can you turn again? So now it's successfully paired with the charger. It will all, whatever the buttons we will press from there, it will follow all those functions. And successfully can uh, attach, can pair with the mobile app as well. There's uh, no issue, just need to reset only, and after that, we'll, everything will be okay. Thanks for watching this video. So the devote uh, is returned already, can charge and can pair with the mobile app and all the functions devote is attached, can pair easily with the charger, there is no issue, just only need to reset. So if you like this video, please uh, share and subscribe my channel and you can share this video to other your friends, whoever is using Omni or Omni X1 or Turbo. So if they are facing this issue, they can settle this one at home, just need to reset. Thanks for watching this video, thank you.